all. They're not distressed at all. They're not getting touched. This is the best way to do this. Look at that one. What? This is Yuki. Good boy. Hey guys, it's Tony here and welcome back to another video. <laughs> Today I'm back with another video of me watching some harmful animal YouTube videos. Well, I've only done one video of this before where I reacted to one video of an ex Lolo video, which was really bad. And I did mention that I wanted to watch a few more of this specific YouTuber's videos because the amount of videos this guy does, like just straight up abusing animals, is kind of crazy. Uh, I'm not going to show the really like gory ones because there are some ones that are like just too bad that I don't want to watch on my YouTube channel. But there are a few ones that I want to talk about and I was originally going to talk about in my last video but the video was, got quite long so I decided to make it into a different video. But yeah, and also in case you guys weren't aware, uh, the video I made about the x video, it actually got age-restricted for a while, but now it's actually been released and it's no longer age-restricted, which was really surprising to me. I didn't even know it happened because like they didn't email me or anything, didn't contact me. It just happened one day and I got a comment saying like, hey, your video's back, and I'm like, so it is. So I'm really glad they decided to do that, but I do wonder what made them change their mind. But yeah, that was the whole thing where they age-restricted my video for animal abuse, even though I was reacting to a different guy's video that wasn't age-restricted. Even though they have released that now, I'm still going to keep my video up where I talked about it, and I'm still going to talk about it because it's still a very bizarre thing for them to do, in my opinion, and I still just don't understand what made them do that to my video instead of his video. Like, why was I punished for someone else's animal abuse? I don't know. So potentially it could happen with this video as well. Um, hopefully it won't, but now that it's happened before, I know that it could happen again. But yeah, the video is back, so you guys can watch that again now, which is good. So the first one I'm going to watch is called Buying All Beta Fish in Pet Store. I don't know why the grammar is so bad in that title, but whatever. Let's watch it. Let's talk about it. I'm ready. Are you ready? I don't think you are. And honestly, I don't think this one's as bad as the other videos this guy's made, but it's still one that I think is definitely um, not a very good thing to encourage. <laughs> <I'm>. <laughs> See that goldfish though? Look at the goldfish. Yeah, look With the, the long tail, how yeah. beautiful that is. Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. You see it? Do I get that it? one? Do I get that one? Absolutely. Look how many there are. There's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten left. I'm the rest. There is something eating all of my goldfish. It's been eating them for about two weeks now. Okay, one good thing about this video is that I like his pond. It's nice. I want to get a pond like that. I won't lie. I mean, I wouldn't have koi in it because koi are illegal here, but like a few goldfish would be nice. <laughs> They're going to have to go way out of their way to get rid of it. And we're buying all the benefits here, anything that's less than $10. I just want to like add also, like, the way American pet stores keep beta fish is freaking wild to me. Like, they just have them sitting in these cups. It's like, like, that is so weird to me. I know that's normal in, like, America and probably some other countries. But that is so weird to me that they're, like, just in these tiny little cups. Like, I'm so glad we don't have that in my country. We do have them in pretty small tanks here, but they are all in their own little tanks on like a proper rack thing. I'll try to find a picture of what they look like here. And they all have filtration, sometimes they'll have like live plants as well. So it's definitely a lot better than this. It's just like, so crazy to me. Also, $5 for a betta fish? That is crazy. I wish they were that cheap here. They're like $20 for a basic betta fish here. I didn't know there's so many different species of bettas. All right, so that one says Veda blah blah. What does you say, Farley? <laughs> the fact that this guy doesn't know what a veil tail beta is is kind of crazy to me. Like, doesn't even know how to say veil tail. Oh, that also says. Beta. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're also gonna get some females. So check it out. All right, that matches the. There's the same word. All right, we're doing good. All right, cool. So we're gonna get males and females and try to breed them. Try to make a huge farm with betta fish. Farley, grab all of the males and all the females. This color and that color lid. All right, the last of them as far as it goes for the ventinalelelas. All right, I just put the birds away because it is getting a bit late. It's past their bedtime already. <laughs> I just want to add while I'm here, I don't recommend or encourage people buy fish or honestly any animals from um, chain pet stores like this. Just because like the death rate of these pet stores is so incredibly high. Like the amount of fish that arrive dead to these pet stores or die while at the pet stores is like crazy. And a lot of pet stores do give a lot of people a lot of really bad misinformation about animal care. Obviously not all pet stores but I'm more meaning the chain pet stores. Like they just, they don't get their fish or any animals from good places. They do come from breeding mills which are definitely not good environments for animals. And also the thing with 
fish, like betta fish and any other fish from chain pit stores is that they're so poorly bred and like inbred that they're just, they just don't live long and they just, they get sick easily and they're just in really poor condition most of the time due to the really bad breeding of fish. I just think it's a good idea for people to get their fish um, from good breeders of fish. There are a lot of really good breeders out there or there are like specialty fish stores that actually like care about their fish um, out there. But chain pet stores, like, can we just stop buying animals from chain pet stores, please? So let's keep going. If you going. guys can read that word at home, let me know. We're taking all these home, and I think I have the well, I haven't even seen six, that many beta fish, emails, like, one, two, together three, four, before. Also, I can't believe the, like, pet store let them buy this many fish. Like, like where I live, um, most pet stores anyway always ask you what, how big's your tank, uh, is it cycled, etc. And they won't sell you fish if you don't have a cycled tank. Um, ready to go. So the fact they let him buy so many fish, like so many beta fish at once, is like kind of crazy to me. They didn't like question that. Headed home right now. With That's just my opinion though. Penny, but it was well worth it. Time to take all these fish home, guys. Let's go. Super fast. Yeah. Woo! That was tough, guys. But we got all of our betas together. Let's get to close the hatch and head on home. Ta-da! Up, guys. Oh my god, I'm so anxious looking at that. <laughs> so he's gonna put all of those beta fish in this pond full of massive koi. I, I just want to keep watching. Like I just want to see what happens guys, before I talk about, about that. Half an hour or so. Amazing. Most beta fish, most people that keep beta fish, they keep them in the cups around this size, guys, or maybe possibly a two-gallon container. So. I'm really, really excited. I don't to see think if we can true. Them in this At least he's acclimating them. <laughs> I'm surprised he's actually doing that. I didn't expect him to do that. My expectations are very low. I wonder what too much of the pond is. Release every single one of these benefits into the pond. Boy, look at this. Don't ruin your pond water with that pit so water. That is so cool. Look at that thing. He doesn't even know what to do with himself. In that huge body of water. It always bothers me when people pour the pet store water into their fish tank or pond in this situation. I never trust pet store water. Even if it's a good pet store, I never trust the pet store water. Oh, she is beautiful. Yes, she is beautiful. Wow. The red ones look super cool. Red looks so nice. <laughs> what clan do you think will do best? The red clan? I think... The blue clan that we have somewhere in here or the mystical clan like this. I think it's going to be the uh, koi or goldfish clan like that's going to win. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> it's going to eat all of those beta fish. Look at the size of those! Oh, yes, enjoy my koi. <laughs> feast, feast my children. And fortunately enough, koi are not known to be carnivorous. Well, my friends, I hope you do well. Be on your separate ways, <laughs> create different clans, and go forth and be merry in Beta-tobia. I don't know where he got the idea that koi fish don't eat other fish because they definitely do. They're omnivores. I mean, most fish do. Um, koi's will happily eat their own babies as well. So yeah, I mean, I'd say that those beta fish got eaten very quickly by those koi, by those huge koi and the goldfish as well, because goldfish will also uh, eat fish that are smaller than them. I mean, that's if they don't kill each other first, because beta fish are known to fight to the death, <laughs> which is why they're also called Siamese fighting fish, and you're not supposed to keep them together. I mean, I won't lie, it can possibly be done in very certain situations very rarely. If he had a whole pond that had nothing else in it except for beta fish, males and females, and it was the size of this pond here, possibly they could be okay. Um, obviously the pond would have to be heated, but even then it's still just very risky to keep betas together like this like it's just kind of unnecessary there's just no point in risking your betas killing each other and also just the amount of stress they can go through just being with other betas is not worth it i've looked into like the dangers of keeping betas together quite a lot like even sorority tanks all female tanks is a very risky thing to do and people that have done that before have even said that it does tend to lower their lifespan a lot just because the stress can make them get sick easier, get diseases and spread it to all the other fish and they just all die. So it's just not something that I recommend anyone to do. Even like real experienced people, I just don't think it's necessary to 
put your fish in that kind of risk. But um, the fact that he's putting them in a pond with giant koi and expecting them to breed in there. <laughs> I mean, he didn't even know what a veiled tail beta is, so I guess I can't expect much from that. But like, come on. <laughs> I don't know how you can expect him to survive in there. And it's just really unfortunate he just he brought all those beautiful fish just to kill them. Those fish deserved a better life. I don't want to be mean, but like, his whole channel's about fish. Yeah, he doesn't know these basic things like that are just so such an easy thing to learn about beta fish, you know. So I don't know if he's doing it on purpose, like he knows that they're not gonna survive and he does it for views, or he just doesn't doesn't care. I I, I just don't know. For, also, he said at the start of this video and during the video that he had goldfish in there and they've all been going missing and all being eaten by another fish in there. Yet he expects the beta fish to survive. What's the logic in that? All right, this is a video I've seen before that I, this is one that has been sent to me a lot and apparently I already disliked this video. <laughs> I don't know when I did that. It must've been a while ago. Yeah, this is something. It's called Fish Roller Coaster, safe for fish. So he said it's safe for fish, so it must be safe. I definitely trust this guy with all my heart. Okay, this video has like a lot of talking in it, so I'm just gonna skip to the actual Around video. the loop de loop this down. That's up. Head first, goldfish. I saw. Okay, here we go, guys. This is the ultimate test. This is the ultimate test. Back behind the TV. Oh my gosh. Will he make it all the way? The Cinnabon. The Cinnabon. No. The Cinnabon. The Cinna swirl. Oh, we're going in. We're going over. Let's go, buddy. You got this, homies. You got this. You got this. Yeah. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Is there more? It's not. They don't really look like, distressed or anything. No, they're not distressed at all. They're not getting touched. This is the best way to do this. Look at that. What? One. This is the best way to do this, guys. We how are they saying they're not distressed at all while the fish is literally going backwards and it's trying to fight the current but it can't because it's just putting so much pressure on it. They are incredibly stressed. Like, this is just literally torture for them. Because they're not getting them touched. Look, he's swimming up current. He's swimming up current. Get back there. Get back there. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, guys. I want to show this video to all the people that commented on my um, other video about this guy. Or the people that said, oh, he's actually a really good fish keeper and he loves his fish. I want to show him this video. Does he love his fish? I don't think so. Where is he going? Biggin. He's first. Oh. Oh my god, is that one even alive? Oh, Biggin. Let it go. It's going around. Here's the boost. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he mentioned at the start of this video that they are feeder fish for his other big fish. Which I understand, but like, what's the point in just torturing them beforehand? Just because they're feeder fish, you can still give them a decent life before they're fed to the other fish. There's no need to just make their life horrible beforehand. It's just an excuse to abuse fish, honestly. Like, I just can't understand laughing while doing this shit. The amount of pressure that the water is pushing onto these fish and like pulling them, especially when they're going the wrong way around, like, it's just. It's just so terrible. Like, I feel like I don't need to explain why this is so bad. Surely most of you guys would see how terrible this is. It's too big. He's like scraping against it. Look at this. Look at it from here. This is such a crazy angle. How can you find as much pleasure in abusing animals? I don't understand. Like, how is this even allowed on YouTube? How did my video get age restricted, but yet this is allowed for anyone to watch, like with their family? Right inside the tub. All right, who's ready to lift this bad boy? Which you could have done in the yeah, first place instead of torturing them, but <laughs> whatever. So yeah, that's that's the video. This video got 17 million views. Just a guy abusing fish. I don't know how these people get away with doing this. Like, I'm pretty sure there's another video of a different YouTuber doing this exact same thing as well because of this video. So yeah. It's just really fucked up. That's all I have to say for it. I'm interested to see what you guys think about these videos. Like, I'm sure I'm gonna get some comments saying like they're just feed a fish or they're just fish and whatever. Which is just kind of stupid to me because I feel like those people are the same people that are against animal abuse about dogs and cats. But then they don't give a shit about like other animals. They're still living, breathing animals that feel pain. Just because they're feed a fish doesn't mean you shouldn't treat them with like respect. Like, and still 
give them a good life beforehand, you know? It's like the same with any feeder animals. I understand why we need feeder animals, but there's no reason why you shouldn't treat them like humanely beforehand, you know? And also he says in the title, safe for fish. That's probably why this video is still up, because YouTube doesn't seem to care about abuse unless the video says somewhere that it's abuse. Like if he says in this video that it's safe, then YouTube will be like, oh, okay, it's safe. It, like, it seems like YouTube doesn't actually have anyone that knows anything about animals on their team and that monitors the animal abuse on their platform because there's a lot of it. And these videos aren't even the worst of the videos I've seen on his channel. There's there's even worse stuff that he's done to um, invasive animals and he just treats them like absolute trash just because they're invasive which is just like insane to me like it's humans fault that they're there like they don't deserve to be tortured just because humans are stupid enough to let them become invasive you know i understand there needs to be pest control but there's no point in just abusing them and torturing them beforehand like you just gotta be kind of fucked up to do that honestly i have been swearing a lot in this video sorry <laughs> It just comes out in these kind of videos because they just make me so angry. You can report this guy's videos if you want, um, but I don't encourage you guys to comment on his videos because I don't want to give him more views and also there's just no point in commenting because he just doesn't care. But yeah, that's all for this video. Feel free to like DM me on Instagram other YouTube videos you guys want me to react to, like of other animal related videos or something. I know a lot of people want me to react to Norris Nuts. I've never heard of them before, I've never watched them before. But I've been getting a lot of comments about them and their animal care. So that's something I might look into next, but I literally don't know anything about them. So let me know if you do want me to react to some of their videos, but like I said, I know nothing about them, so I haven't even looked at their channel yet. But that's an option. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!